Hey guys, I trekked on down to Hattiesburg, Mississippi on this little road trip to see trucking companies that DCP made models of. However, this stop isn't at the trucking company since it's an owner-operator rig hauling a Mississippi tank company propane tanker trailer. So, I thought I would stop off at Mississippi Tank Company and learn more about the tanker trailer along with why choose propane. Smash the like button to see this really cool tanker trailer. Mississippi Tank Company is a major supplier of custom fabricated pressure vessels for the petrochem industries. They also fabricate LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, and NH3, also known as anhydrous ammonia, storage tanks and transport trailers. The Mississippi Tank Company dates back to 1945 when they designed and built the first residential LPG storage tanks known as domestic tanks. By 1950, large capacity storage tanks were added to their product line. In 1952, Home delivery units, known today as bobtails, were added and transport trailers were added in 1953. By this time, more space was needed, so in 1954, land was acquired and a larger production facility was built. Incidentally, this land houses the present day location for production. Demand over the years has resulted in many additions to the facility. Throughout the 1970s, Mississippi Tank Company was recognized as the major supplier of LPG and NH3 storage tanks and transport trailers. During this time, custom vessels became a significant portion of their production. This increase in custom vessels led to the discontinuation of domestic tanks in 1972 and delivery units in 1973. However, delivery units were brought back into production as facility capacity increased. Delivery units, or bobtails, in the LPG industry are the trucks that deliver propane to residential homes and businesses for heating and cooking use. We see these trucks all the time during the winter months supplying homes with the life-sustaining fuel. The bobtails that Mississippi Tank Company makes range from 2,600 gallons to 5,000 gallons. They are also made in either a standard configuration or a drop deck design. The drop deck design features a one-piece deck and replaceable one-piece fenders. Also, the decks are available in painted steel, stainless, or aluminum. If they don't have a bobtail in stock to fit your needs, a custom one can be fabricated for you. Just ask their friendly sales staff for help. Another product that Mississippi Tank Company is the industry leader in is bulk storage tanks. I know, talk about a boring product, but it's a more important product than most people would think. Liquid storage is a must have for many industries so having above ground and underground tanks ready to build quickly are essential to keeping Mississippi Tank Company in business. Stock sizes range from small 6,585 gallons to giant 90,000 U.S. water gallons. Also, if you need a different capacity, custom tanks can be designed and built easily and quickly to suit. Up now is the reason I came down here to Hattiesburg. It's the Mississippi Tank Company Transports. These are the large tanker trailers that are designed to be pulled by road tractors, like the one that DCP made and put behind a fancy 359 Peterbilt. Mississippi Tank Company builds custom trailers as well as three standard size LPG or NH3 trailers. The first standard size is the most common standard trailer legal everywhere. It is a tandem axle tanker with a capacity of 11,600 gallons. Second size is the 
East Coast Special Propane Trailer. It is a tri-axle tanker that takes advantage of the increased weight limits in several states. The largest stock design is the Michigan Special with a six-axle design. This massive trailer can haul 18,200 gallons thanks to the extremely high gross weight limits that Michigan allows. If you need a pressure vessel or a pressurized tanker, I'd suggest Mississippi Tank Company to build them for you. If you need a model of a transport trailer, contact me to see how we can get the appropriate model made to promote your business. Now, let's jump on over to the rock quarry and talk about a fancy DCP Pete 359 with Mississippi Tank Company transport trailer. And here we go guys, this is the beautiful Peterbilt 359 black cab with maroon fenders, maroon frame, maroon fuel tanks, pulling a Mississippi Tank Company pressure tank trailer with 1075 propane placards. It's a DCP by first gear, 164 scale die cast replica and it comes in the standard box with the two piece blister. The item number on this guy is 60-1146. And there it is, out of the box. Isn't that sharp? I love the cab on this truck. That black and maroon just looks awesome. Now, let's look at the tank just a little bit closer. There we go. Rides on tandem axles with the 10-hole chrome wheels and soft rubber tires. It has maroon fenders front and rear and black mud flaps front and rear. Warning signs, screw down landing gear type. It's got the valve connection so you can hook up to empty the trailer and unload the propane. It has marker lights, DOT striping, everything that you really need. Underneath, you can see the uh, springs there for the somewhat of working suspension right there. You can see it works a little. Air brake canisters, nice tread pattern on the tires. Kingpin for DCP, first gear, advantage die cast, and even Neo scale models trucks. So you can haul this with pretty much anything. And then you can see they put a little gold tampo on the end of the connections so where they would hook up the hoses in the connection pieces. <laughs> There's that uh, 1075 liquefied petroleum gas and on the white tank. I don't know about that. Not a big fan of that, but that's what they made this one for. Has the black ends and then the white center of the barrel with a maroon belly. I don't know. Back of the trailer, 1075 placard and then another liquid petroleum gas. Tampoed on the back. It's got the little reflectors that are required. Up higher, you can see it has the three DOT lights. Then it has a whole lot of brake lights on the back bumper, DOT striping below it, and then your regular brake lights on silver there. Also, this guy has that nice little uh, fire extinguisher sitting back there on the back of the trailer, which is really, really useful. Over around this side, it's got the 1075 placard. It's got two pressure gauges, another place for pipes to be put, and then the crank for the handle for the landing gear there front you get your hookups for your airlines and your electric lines even though you really can't hook them up and then the 1075 placard got to make sure that's all around so people know exactly what this trailer is hauling and here is that beautiful peterbilt 359 tractor it has stainless steel rear fenders and then the frame is painted maroon the fuel tank chrome plated then painted maroon and then they have the chrome for the bands which mount the fuel tanks it has chrome straight stacks, chrome mirrors, chrome air horns, chrome battery box, chrome deck plate, chrome step, chrome front bumper, chrome grill, and then the air cleaners are chrome plated with black painted around them to match the cap. Really nice. Air tanks there are painted in the maroon. Fenders are there with little turn signals on top of them. And then you can see the Peterbilt logo tampoed on the side of the hood. Interior, it has two black high back seats, black steering wheel, and black dashboard. They're mounted behind a hard plastic clear 
window that has windshield wipers and gaskets all tampoed on. They're molded in and then tampoed over, as is the center bar. Chrome visor there, and then you can see the big chrome bumper. This time, though, they put marker lights tampos. No, no, not tampos. Those are decals down on the bumper. You can tell it's a decal because you can see the one on the passenger side got pushed over the way it's mounted in the box. Not great. It has the rectangular style headlights on it, just like the other 359, the Penn Valley one. And then it has the chrome grill and the Peterbilt logo tampoed on the front. It has a maroon engine. Oh wait, body matched engine. Steering on this guy is positionable. It clicks in place. It does not real true steering. It's positionable. Doors don't open, but the hood does. Passenger side has pretty much the same details. The doors are surrounded in a little gray silver tampo and then the vents and the door handles are tampoed in silver chrome straight stacks and you can see the 45 miters on the top really really nice underneath same detail you always expect spring front suspension uh, semblance of working rear suspension drive shafts air brake canisters the works the exhaust all the details that we're used to from dcp they're right there 36 inch bunk on the back of this one and it has the brake lights there's four of them on it the back now there's no brake light back here but a lot of them don't have them the way they're running them lately it has peterbilt tampos on the little tips of the mud flaps right there and there really really sharp and then pogo stick with airlines and electric lines they did an amazing job painting this one i really like the paint job don't really like those decals down on the front bumper. They're too easy to damage, especially in the packaging. Now let's go on and hook the guy back up. And that is the owner-operator Peterbilt 359, black with maroon frame, pulling a Mississippi tank trailer with a maroon belly, black ends, and white top on the tank. It has hazmat placards of 1075 for liquefied petroleum gas, propane. It is a great 164 scale die cast model. For more info on propane haulers and others, see my other videos on propane trucks. Coming soon is the third stop in Springfield, Missouri on this little road trip. So make sure to tap the subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss it. Also, you should catch the first stop in Telford, Pennsylvania with the link in the description below. Now, for the obvious question from the beginning of the video. Why propane? Why is propane the choice of millions of homeowners? The answer is simple. Propane heat is a clean, efficient, reliable source of exceptional warmth. A more complicated explanation as to why to choose propane is that propane is a single source energy supply for many applications. A single propane storage tank on your property can heat your home with consistent warmth. It can fuel your water heater consistently and efficiently. Propane dries laundry faster. It cooks food quickly to exact temperatures. It also fuels your backyard gas grill while keeping your swimming pool a nice warm temperature for a quick afternoon dip. Propane can also run your backup generator when the power goes out. Talk about a useful fuel to use on your property, not just for heating your house. Now that we know why so many choose propane, we need to make sure our collections have a propane transport. So, while limited supplies last, get one of these Peak 359 with Mississippi Tank Company transport trailers with the link down below. This one was really limited, so don't delay or you will miss out. Thanks for watching everyone. Please go on and smash the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'm heading on to Springfield, Missouri to see Rapid Roberts, so stay tuned.